Well, this is another question on the instrument written that has many applicants struggle with, and usually they end up guessing at the answer. The question says, refer to figure 95. Which OBS selection would center the CDI and change the ambiguity indication to a 2? As usual, the question itself is confusing. So the first thing we need to do is understand what they are actually asking. And in this case, to make it simple, they're asking you what is your heading to the station. Because if you're familiar with the way we teach VORs at Pilot Training Solutions, if the needle is centered, whichever direction the flag points towards, that represents the heading to the station. Now, to answer this question, we need to follow a couple of simple steps. First, we need to look at figure 95. And we're going to pretend that the needle is centered. As you see from the animation, if it was centered, our heading to the station would be 170. So, let's draw a VOR station and a bearing of 170 to it. And again, for simplicity, I'm also going to include the radio from the station, which is 350. Now, 170 would be the answer to our question, if the needle had been centered. But it's not that easy. The needle is not centered. And by the way, you might know this already, but the quickest way to find a reciprocal of a heading or a radial is to use what I call the plus two minus two or minus two plus two method. What I mean by this? Well, for example, I need to find a reciprocal of 170. I can't subtract a two from the first number because I'd have a negative number and there are no such thing as negative headings. So I'm going to have to add a 2 to that first number. That becomes a 3. Because I've added a 2 to the first number, I'm going to subtract a 2 to the second number. That becomes a 5. The last number always stays the same. So that 170 became 350. The same is true with 350. I can use the same system to go back to the original number. I can't add a 2 to the 3 because otherwise my angle would be more than 360 degrees, but I can subtract a 2 from it. So that leaves me with a 1. Because I subtracted a 2 from the first number, I'm going to add a 2 to the second number, making that a 7. My answer is 170. It's pretty simple. You do a little bit of practice with this and it will be really simple in the airplane as well. Now, continuing with the problem we can see that the needle is not centered. It's on the left side of the instrument. And this tells us that if we wanted to intercept the 170 magnetic bearing to the station that we just drew, we need to fly east because that needle is pointing, as you see, to the east. Meaning I need to go east to go intercept it, placing the airplane on the west of the first line we drew again. Now, if the needle had been fully deflected, I could be on any of the radials west of the 350 radial. But first of all, being that the answers are 175, 165, and 345, I can only draw those three lines. And obviously, only one can be correct. If I draw those three lines, only 165 can be the correct answer, because a 175 to the station is east of the 170 and 345 is on the opposite side altogether. Second, a full deflection is 10 degrees. And since the needle is a half scale deflection, it has to be 5 degrees. And 5 degrees to the west of the 350 radial is the 345 degree radial, which is a 165 to the station. And for more information on this topic and many others, check out passfaexams.com.